Hey guys, we're Chris and Casey from Rolling with the Roaches and this is our first video. We are going to do a tour of Big Betty. We spent the last, what, two months, two, three months renovating it and we are on our first official trip currently. So we thought we'd give you a tour of our home on wheels. Let's go. This is Remy for anybody who doesn't know. She is our two and a half year old Australian Shepherd. Yes, hi who loves the adventurous life that we are now living. All right, so when you first walk in, you will see we have a shoe rack and some hats and gloves. The first trip we ended up taking was actually pretty chilly in the 30s and 20s at night, so that was definitely needed and something we've used a lot the past couple of days. Next we have our two chairs. I have yet to actually drive the RV. Thankfully Chris is comfortable enough driving it and I'm very grateful for that because to be honest I'm a little nervous to drive Big Betty. So Remy and I sit in this chair and she cuddles up with me while I'm sitting there. So one of the first things we knew we wanted to do was change out the TV that's in our RV. It was originally a box TV. You can tell from behind but we added a plank of wood right here and sealed it all off, put some two by fours behind it to make some studs for the rack or the mount that we put on the TV. And then we put up the 32 inch TV. It's a fire TV, so we're able to stream all of the things we generally watch, which is nice. So in here is where we plug in the TV. We also charge our batteries for our e-bikes. We have two of the electric XP 2.0 e-bikes and we love them. Yesterday we went on a 25 mile bike ride around Door County in them and it was awesome. This is our games cabinet. We like to play cards a lot. We like to play lots of games. So we needed a special compartment for that. Up here we have all of our technology stuff, so all of our camera equipment, our headphones, chargers, SD cards, all that kind of stuff is in there. Down here, we keep all of Remy's stuff. So poop bags, it's not very well organized, but her heartworm medicine, um, towels, leash, harness, all that good stuff. And then over here we keep all of our bungee cords and ratchet straps for when we tie down when we are moving Big Betty. And then the last thing I guess up front would be our blinds. This was one of the only things we didn't actually replace in the RV. I think eventually we'll add blackout ones, but it wasn't just high on the priority of things to do. But we can open them both sides all the way. They're not the greatest invention for the RV being on slides because when you move, so did the blinds. So Chris generally bungee cords this here and then on my side over there I wrap it around the seat belt in order to get it to stay. But for privacy, we generally keep them closed. All right, moving on to the living room. So Remy's got her little dog bed and blanket. She's a very cozy dog. She loves her pillows and blankets. Spoiled, but that's okay. We have our couch that we actually brought from one of our apartments. It's from Albany Park. We love it. We love the leather. It's easy to wipe off like dog hair or anything you spill on it. So having a leather couch in here has been really great and it fits perfectly for the space. And then we have a coffee table from Target. And then the rug is also from Target that I got on sale. The next thing that was like a really big renovation in here that really made a difference was doing the beams or planks, I guess, across the entire slide out. So this originally was the material of these chairs and they were plush and beige 
they were fine, but definitely not like the aesthetic we were trying to go for. So Chris found these at Home Depot. They were already pre-stained. On the top one, all we did was nail them in with brad nailers and then we screwed in the side pieces. We removed everything off first, obviously, and then put them on in the slide and then within the entire RV, we also painted everything white. So far it's working out good. We primed everything twice and painted everything twice. So it took a long time, but it was definitely worth it. It really brightens up the area to have everything white. We also removed, oops, we removed upper cabinets on this entire slide. As we were doing the demo process, I realized I really didn't like the look of them, especially like when you're sitting. I didn't want a cabinet that came to here right above your head and I'm short and I felt claustrophobic with it so I can only imagine Chris or whoever was going to be in our RV with us having cabinets low by your head. We added roller blinds for at night to be able to block it out. Those are all sun filtering and then I found these lamps off of Amazon but in RVs you have to have on off switches so I had to add these little on off switches on all of the lamps that I installed in the RV. But they're simple, they were easy to attach, you just wire them like you wire anything else. The only difference in light bulbs for RVs is they have to be 12 volts, which thankfully they make ones that look just like residential light bulbs now, and they're not like the little strip ones that you typically find in RVs. So we've got two of those, and then in the center, I had this one already at our house. I was planning on putting it in our guest bedroom at home. Decided against it and we've used one here. And this one already came with an on off switch so we were good to go with that. So moving on to the desk area. We got the tabletop and the legs for this desk from Ikea because we already had the drawers from a previous desk that we had assembled at one of our apartments. So having a lightweight piece of furniture that's small and compact was great for the RV. Generally, Chris pulls it forward a bit to be able to put his chair on this part of the ground, not on the slide, because he likes to move around while he talks. So being able to move this chair out and slide forward is another good option for us as well. But when we're moving or when he was deciding to work outside or something like this, it's nice to just push it in and have everything tucked away and in their spot. Remy is also Chris's co-worker pretty much. Her dog bed goes underneath, huh, you like to go to work. Her dog bed goes underneath his desk and she basically sleeps there all day while he works. We added wallpaper here. I wanted more of an accent wall to liven it up and get away from just pure white throughout the entire RV. But when this slide is in, you can only see about this much of the wall. So this slide comes all the way in. You can still get through right here, but it's still a fun little accent wall. One of the biggest things we changed with the RV was the flooring. It had carpet throughout the majority of it and then it had linoleum through the kitchen and the bathroom and then carpet again in the bedroom. So we decided to rip it all out. We wanted to start fresh with it and modernize it a bit more. We felt it just dated the camper more than it needed to be. So we put in laminate flooring. We ran it through the entire living room kitchen area on top of the slide and then in the bedroom as well. And then we switched it up in the bathroom and did a vinyl sheet roll in the bathroom. Our biggest issue we had in this area was how to figure out how to cap off the end of the slide because underneath you could see the rollers otherwise and we didn't really like the look of that. So we actually added, what's it called? Plywood. We added plywood, that's what we did. We added a thick piece of plywood across the entire slide, put the flooring on top of that, and then did a stair nose or a stair edger across the entire slide to finish it off. And it's worked out pretty well so far. We also used liquid nails underneath the first couple pieces, 
or first couple rows to be able to make sure that it was going to stay while the slide moves in and out and while we're constantly walking on it. Just because it is a home on wheels, things get moved around, things get pushed. So it's worked out well for us so far. The last thing I'd mention in the living room is if you look right here, you can see we have hooks. We have another one on this wall and another one in that other corner over there. And that's what we use to tie everything down while we're moving. We use bungee cords and ratchet straps to keep everything still and in its place. So moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen was actually in really good condition. It's the original sink and countertop still. I didn't actually like the countertops to begin with because it's like a speckled beige color. But as soon as I added this stick and peel backsplash, which ties in the pure white, and then the tan colors as well. I really liked the color of this. Now the sink was one thing I was really trying hard to replace. I actually bought a full set and sink with faucet and everything. But they don't make this size anymore. At least not to my understanding and all the research I tried to find a sink with. This is 19 inches deep. So the length of it was fine because we've got a little wiggle room over here. But I couldn't find a sink that's 19 inches this way. All the sinks now are 22 inches and the bowl itself is 19 inches. So I had to keep the original sink, but I did replace the faucet and the sprayer. We do have a cutting board that came with this sink so we can remove it when we're cleaning dishes. But for the most part, it stays right here and that's its home. I also replaced the strainers in both of the bowls. Then for everything in the, this like main living room of the RV, I put on black handles. I replaced all of those off of Amazon. It came in like a 50 pack. So it was pretty reasonable, pretty cheap. I also spray painted all of these black. They were originally like a gold color. I don't know exactly what color it was, but spray painted those black, added black handles instead, and it turned out nice. I think it's clean and sharp, and so that modernizes it, again, just a little bit more than what it was. We also have this extension right here. We use for a lot of different things. Sometimes I eat here. Sometimes we use it as like a drying table, storage, just adds a little bit more counter space considering we have limited counter space. We also keep our Wi-Fi right here. So we have the Netgear from AT&T and then our phones are Verizon so we always have two options wherever we go with Hotspot. This is our main cupboard for like coffee, cups, our protein, all our shake stuff, seasoning, spices is all in here. This is like storage, um, Tupperware, we've got our washcloths and hand towels are in this one. We've got our plates, our bowls, our mixing bowls up here. And then this is something that Chris and I have found that we love. It's a convection microwave, which means you can fully cook in it, like you can bake We've cooked pizza in it. We do cookies frequently, which is probably an issue, but that's okay. Our french fries have honestly been better in this microwave than they have in our oven at home. Then we have a three stove gas burner that we use frequently. We boil water in the kettle for our tea and coffee every morning and then throughout the rest of the day. The nice thing is when we are moving or if we want more counter space, we can cover this. And then we have additional counter space as well. This is a great alternative when we are cooking outside and we don't need to use the stove top. It's a great area to prep and to be able to use when we're not when that's not needed. But for the majority of the time it is up and this with our kettle ready to go because we drink a lot of tea and coffee. Next we have our Dometic fridge and freezer. We have the push to open. This runs on electric or propane, so it has an auto where when we're driving, the fridge stays on and nothing goes bad, which is great. 
the fridge holds just as much as we need it to when we're at home. This is the same amount of food we buy with a residential fridge and it all fits, so that's great. And then the last part of the kitchen is the pantry. Now this I haven't fully figured out how I want to organize it yet because the pantry is very narrow but it's super deep. And I'm short so I can't actually see what's in the back of this top pantry. So I need to figure out like a container that's going to fit well in here that I can easily pull things up. But it fits a lot. I actually think this fits more than our pantry at home. We have a very small one at home. We also keep our dish towels here and then we keep our fruit baskets here just to get it off of the counter. So we've got apples and bananas and then another pantry. Here we have our monitor panel for our tank levels, our water heater, water pump, that actually doesn't need to be on, our fantastic fan, and then our control slide for the slides itself. So we can bring the slides in and out. We also have our duo therm, which we have two of for two ACs and one furnace. We have that system right here. So moving into the bathroom, this is one of the bigger, I think, before and afters throughout Big Betty. We painted it this terracotta color at first. Chris and I both really didn't like it. It turned out more pinky than it did like an orange or whatever I was envisioning. Didn't turn out. So then I sprayed it white, which was great. Looks clean, fresh, opens it up a bit more. But then we took out the countertop and the sink and the faucet and we replaced it with butcher block and then a vessel sink on top, replaced the water drain stop and then the faucet as well. Here I spray painted all the hinges gold and then added rubbed bronzed or rubbed gold, can't remember the name of it, handles onto all of the doors and the drawers as well. So that turned out well, and then I did add stick and peel tile in here as well, just to give it a nice clean finish rather than just a painted wall. Added a new towel rack. Spray painted the light fixture, but didn't actually change the light fixture. Just added new smaller bulbs so that your eyes weren't drawn to it right away. So for the bathroom flooring, I got vinyl sheet roll from Menards in this gray and white stone pattern. And it comes in one big sheet. I made a template of the bathroom flooring with paper, brought that out into the living room, laid the sheet out, cut out the template, and then I was able to get like precise lines for all the awkward angles and cutouts that I needed to do. For that, I removed the toilet so that I had a clean slate to be able to lay it all flat, made sure everything was lined up correctly, reinstalled the toilet, I used like basically a double stick tape that's used for this kind of flooring along the edges and then I did a few strips in the middle just to keep it secured down and then I had taken these up as well so and then screwed them back in over top the flooring. We have the transition strip here and then we have quarter round as well over here. And then in the bathroom, we decided to just use some silicone to be able to keep it in place. And that's worked out great so far. So in here, we had a door originally that closed off where the toilet was. We decided to remove that because it was a really heavy, thick door. And we were adding weight in other places that we knew we needed to take weight out. So removing that door was a good option. We've discussed potentially doing like the doors that sprinter vans typically have for like their wet dry showers that could potentially go here if we decide that we need it. We've got storage up above and in here as well. Garbage can. It's done the job so far. It's been good. Then in here we just have storage. So all of our towels, these are all like rag towels. We use them for Remy as well. And then down here Cleaning supplies, extra toilet paper, paper towel, napkins, all of that is in here. And then our shower, we have a tub shower combo. It's great, actually. Water gets really warm. 
And then when we are traveling, I take all of the shampoo and conditioner and body wash and I put it in these bins and just leave it on the floor and that helps everything from like rolling around and all that in there. Then into the bedroom, we have a queen size short bedroom and then we got beddies as our bedding for in here, which has worked out great. It's just like a giant sleeping bag for adults. They have the kid sizes as well, but it keeps everything clean and together. It comes in one pack so you can zipper all the way down and then it has this for at night. Your sheet is attached to it both sides and then when you want to make your bed you just tuck it back in and zipper it back up. Replaced the light up here. Again had to add an on off switch but we also have a light switch in our bedroom that controls that which is good. We replaced just like we did in the living room we replaced the slide bordering with the wood, same wood that we used in the living room. I also went ahead and redid our side tables. We both have the same ones. We have an outlet down here, but this is the same butcher block that we had left over from our bathroom countertop. So we cut it to size and now have butcher block side tables. We have lights that turn by their switch right here. And then we also have overhead lights that are by this switch down there. We had a valance that was up here prior to me removing it. So I went ahead and got a brown blackout curtain or a roller blind, which has worked out great. Really gets dark in here at night with all the lights off. So that's worked out great. I did a chocolate brown on the inside of here and then down here with again another accent wall with wallpaper and they're just like twigs or branches right there. The last big piece we did in here was again change out the flooring from carpet to the laminate flooring and then went to gold handles in here. We have a big closet. This is my side. Right now we have a lot of winter clothes because it was cold where we're where we are right now. This is Chris's side and then we've got more storage down here and then this is our electrical panel, our fuse box, how we turn all of our power on and off, our breaker box and stuff like that. If you like this Big Betty RV tour please make sure and give us a thumbs up and while you're at it if you want to go ahead and subscribe to our channel we would really love the support. There will be a lot of other content coming out shortly. We have a lot of big plans with Big Betty and just RV life in general. So you want to make sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss anything. I'll also link our other social media platforms. We have different content going on everywhere. Please make sure to give us a follow and we'll see you in our next video.